We'll switch into the prep ranks with Thanksgiving week wrapping up. That also means that holiday tournaments are coming to a close as well. The Hardys ended yesterday with both the West Ridge and David Crockett teams battling for the championship in each of the boys and girls showdowns. Now the Wolves and Pioneers, well, you got one team that can leave with Hardy's hardware, but you really have a school that can leave with two if that makes sense for you. Now we're going to pick this boys game up early in the first quarter. Cooper Johnson corrals the loose ball, a little crossover there, and he's going to get the jumper to go. Now Crockett, they were threading the needle all night long. Next time down the floor, ball ends up in the hands of Gage Pearson. He'll make it look easy right underneath the bucket, but the Wolves also have some tic-tac-toe passing themselves. Ty Babe to Johnson, who finds Wade Witcher in the high post, and Nothing but net for him. Now the Pioneers, they're going to use that home court advantage to their advantage, and they're going to hold off the Wolves with some stout defense on that last possession. And Crockett, they're your boys' champions with that close 46-44 to win. Now before that showdown, it was the same schools duking it out for the girls' championships, and a lot of Pioneer points in the opening minutes came from Nora Walters, the 6'1 senior with the easy land, and Crockett just continue to go back to the Walters well. She separates herself from the defense on this one, connecting on the turnaround, Jay. But Westridge actually had plenty of counter punches in this one. The Wolves, they're running the floor the whole first quarter. Emma Neobrugge squeezed it through the contact to give the Wolves a six-point lead. But the Pioneers were digging themselves out. Walters returns the favor to Bella Ferguson, who knocks down the triple. Crockett led 16-14 to 14 after one, and they continue to roll in this one, picking up the sweep for the schools with a 51-42 to 42 win.